what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? It's me, Raven. What's going on? What's good? How you been? Are you good today? Somebody was getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> I want to talk to you in reference to kind-hearted people. Let me teach you, tell you something. People who say, I'm never getting used again, will always get used. You know why? You are a good-hearted person. And good-hearted people always get fucked over. Whether you know it or not. I mean, this is my thing. You will try to make sure no one else do it again, but you are a good-natured person. A good-natured person, a good-natured person is someone who just have a good heart. Good-hearted people are people who always helping people. You look out for people. You'll wait for a certain amount of hours for people. You do things you don't want to do for people. And the thing about it is, you're just good natured. You're a nurturer. You'll get pissed off and you'll get upset because somebody hurts you and say, you know what, this is it. I had enough. I'm never doing this again. And, you know, I'm hurt. And I'll show y'all. I'll show you. But then once you stop being mad anymore, you've gone done it again. <laughs> you didn't help somebody else. Somebody, you just, you're just a good natured person. And the thing about it is a lot of times people look for you because they know if they look for you, they can take advantage of you because you, are good, you have a good spirit. Give you an example. You ever met a person that you've ever been in a relationship with? And they fucked you over. I mean, they really fucked you over. And you said, well, once I walk away from this, I'm done. I don't want nothing to do with you. And remember, at this moment, y'all going at it, y'all upset, you pissed off, and you don't ever want to see them again. I mean, the rage inside of your body is so upsetting, and you're pissed off. A few weeks, a few months, they see you. They want to apologize to you. They want to be sorry. You forgive them. I guess you're one of God's children. You have a forgiving spirit. And I guess like they say, if how you expect God to forgive you if you can't forgive others? And I learned, I had a guy, you know this was going somewhere. <laughs> I had a guy that was, I was seeing And I helped him out. I mean, he was like down on his luck and stuff like that. And he was actually homeless. The worst kind. <laughs> but anyway, not saying that's wrong with homeless people because I love them to death. Anyway, I have to get up on his feet. And I mean, I turned him around. Oh my God. But one thing I learned with people you look good to them once you're helping them. But once they get up on their feet, everybody looks good to them but you. The clothes you dress the little raggedy doll up in is your clothes, the money, everything. But a lot of times they forget. And now women are trying to approach them and guys are trying to get at them and they forgot the person who put them there. So guess what? They're cheating on you. <laughs> And I, I, God is my witness. He was actually home living on a train. I put him on his feet. I had him working inside a lawyer's office, suit and tie, everything. How I did it, I don't know. I actually took him by his hand and took him to job interviews myself. Put him on his feet. Like Mary J. Blige says, I should have left your ass a long time ago. I put him on his feet. And guess what? He got another girl's number. Got on it. He cheated on me five times. And I loved him so much. I was trying to work with him. I guess I should have just left him there. But my point of the matter is that I always said no one would never use me. Guess what? I've been used. <laughs> and he used to always tell me, I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with your heart. People seek out 
people with good hearts because it's easy for them to take advantage of you and by you being nurturing and caring, you can be used. Sure, you'll get mad, you'll throw a tantrum and stuff like that because you don't want to be used. But after a while, you go back to being who you are. And you're a child of God and you care. So you're going to help people. That's what you do. My advice is that you have to be more stronger because empathy is your enemy. I'm going to say it again. Empathy is your enemy. That means your nurturing, caring ways get you in a lot of trouble. So you got to suck it up and be stronger at what you do. And when someone hurts you, you have to learn to actually leave. Even when you don't want to leave, you have to leave. Even if it kills you, you have to leave. If you, what, you, what I learned is what you do is when they leave you and they hurt you, write it down. Write it all down. This way, when they call you back up, flip through the pages. <laughs> and when they sell the sell, say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you have to save yourself. Because I learned in life, if you don't stop someone from hurting you, you'll repeat the whole thing all over again. Anyway, I just want to know if you have a person like that, you know, that you're the kind of person who's kind-hearted, and you notice that no matter how much you try not to let people hurt you, you've been hurt again. You try to let nobody use you, you've been used. Anyway, I guess that's what we do. But then again, they say, people who help other people get further in life. But then again, I watch people who help know their body, and they're all the way to the moon. <laughs> anyway. I want to hear what you have to say about that. You do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck off.